Hello there dear YouTube friends. In this video, I will teach you guys on how to send bulk emails, bulk HTML emails to your customers. So this is going to be another like an extra additional uh, video just to add on to my previous video which is about just sending a text based email. And this one is going to be uh, and, so, yeah, and today's one is going to be a bit more special than the one that I created yesterday which is I'm going to add implement HTML uh, into my uh, email content. So that's the thing that today's video is all about. So as usual, in order to start with uh, sending the bulk emails, I'm going to use uh, the same thing like uh, what I did on my previous video. It's good going to extensions and also going to uh, app script here. So meanwhile, what we can do, we can actually uh, find a good looking template uh, that I actually was able to uh, collect which is this a good looking uh, email template here this is can be any form of uh, email template which is also should be in email template uh, HTML template so what here I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna copy this uh, whole and uh, this whole code of this particular email template and yeah, I'll, don't worry, I'll be sharing you guys this particular email template in the description below of this video. So I just copied this code here. This is this is just the HTML. I'm going to go here. And what I'm going to do here is that since there's no HTML code, I mean HTML uh, file here, I'm going to just go to file and add a new file and it's called HTML. So I would like to name it index. Okay, so let's click uh, enter. And there you go you have the HTML uh, boilerplate uh, here so what you're gonna do here since I just copied the whole thing right so let me just copy it properly right? uh, sorry. okay first I'm gonna copy the style so style 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 just style comes until here okay just copy this I'm gonna paste it in between the head and the body just created and pasted the code for style and to be honest you should be having it in a separate file called .css but in this case I'm just gonna go it uh, just put it within the HTML uh, file so once I just copied so I mean I'm just uh, done copying the style uh, the CSS content next I'm gonna copy the body content log but what is basically the most uh, important content of the HTML where you're gonna uh, quote the uh, actual content of your con uh, email template so I'm gonna copy this and what I'm gonna do here I'm just I'm just gonna select the body and just paste it over it like that. okay there you go this is the full code uh, of the HTML template and now it is ready just click on save and don't worry it's already saved by the way so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna quote the JavaScript uh, template here. and this is the one that I have used uh, in the previous video but let's not use this anymore because the one that I'm going to use it for now is a bit different I'm going to delete this all and I'm just going to go to uh, my template here and I'm gonna, just going to copy it here and then copy it and paste it here so don't worry again yeah please I will be uh, what I'm just sa saving, I mean, what I'm uh, leaving this the content of this HT, I mean, JavaScript uh, code in the description uh, below, and yeah, you can you can have access to it. So yeah, I just copied and pasted the uh, the JavaScript code of the uh, yeah sending. I mean, like how does the whole thing works? So let me just go through what does this. I mean, what are what are this code actually does? Okay. So as you can see here, the first two lines here is actually uh, the ones that I, uh, I mean, one I've explained it in the previous video, which is actually calling the sheets data. For example, you have, this is your data here. And what you're doing, gonna do here, gonna call all the data and store it into this particular data uh, variable here. So that's the first two lines. Uh, and the second, uh, next, next time is, we're gonna call the HTML file entitled index.html. As you can see here, we just copied, I mean, we just uh, like created a file called index.html and as well, we pasted the code of the HTML just like this here, right? So that's what we're going to call right now. So this is the HTML template. 
that's a variable name where I'll be calling the index.html. Next up, the body, HTML body is basically the, uh, the content. Like I would like to extract the content of the email term, HTML template and store it into a variable called HTML body. So that's all for HTML uh, part. And next is, is where we're gonna send the emails, right? So you know, you know to send the emails, uh, send the emails. Okay guys, so next line is gonna be sending uh, emails uh, separately and respectively to each of the users here in your list. So the first gonna be, we're gonna loop, the, loop through the data, uh, the stored data that we gathered here, and we have to uh, iterate it uh, as long the length of the, uh, the array that we have been uh, gathered inside, stored inside this data. So next, I'm just gonna go through uh, which field is gonna be the name, which is the, the first, uh, I mean, for every row, the first column is gonna be the name, as you can see here, right? And then for every row, the second column is going to be the email, as you can see here. Okay, so this is the, just to like uh, just to get some stuff clear, which is the first column and second column. So next, uh, let's look at the uh, the. Okay, let's look at this. So as you can see here, the first column. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, wanna label the variable called uh, name for the for that so that you can actually extract. Uh, the, the data of the name and also I'm gonna vary, I want mean, to uh, declare a variable called receiver and I'm gonna put it uh, data and the second column is gonna be the receiver email uh. so it's gonna be uh, those two uh, main two things that we needed to, to actually send an email so let's go to the actual function itself which is the mail app dot send email to another you know, the first is gonna be receiver where we're gonna send the email the subject's gonna be uh, it's gonna be anything like I'm just gonna put uh, this is the subject and it, and let's say the body here is gonna be the body that comes before the HTML content so I'm just gonna put dear uh, name here so instead of just putting directly getting the data here I'm just gonna put uh, the variable itself which is the name and dear uh, someone so it's gonna be this I'm gonna just like Go to this. Go to the following line, and in the following line, where is, is where the HTML content uh, starts, and you can actually see the whole content of the HTML within your email uh, with this with this line here. So that's it. That's it from the. That's all from the coding. So let's go and start testing it. And yeah, I think we can just uh, click on save here. And before yeah, it's like. Once you have uh, clicked on saved here, you can actually start running. Before that, let me just open my email just to uh, see who I able to receive it. Let me check what email did I use. It's okay. Okay, I have, I have my uh, email uh, ready here. So let's get started by just clicking on this uh, run. Yeah, run feature here. So as you can see here, this is just some console log just to make sure that it, the, the program actually runs. And yeah, it says execution completed. So we can actually check our email here. So as you can see here, I just received a new email from me, which is because I'm using the same email here to send the same email to myself. So what you can do here, right? You can just yeah, click on uh, the, the message you just received. So this is uh, your email. And there you go. This is some. This is your uh, HTML content here. And there you go. This is the total. Uh, this is the website. I mean, this is the HTML content. I mean, HTML content of your uh, email, which you can actually send it in bulk. And yeah, that's all for me. Uh, thank you guys for watching the entire video. And yeah, feel free to subscribe if you feel you you find it this video really helpful, and you may want to. Yeah, watch the rest of my other videos which you might think helpful for your journey and your projects and stuff. So thank you guys for, thanks again for watching the entire video. Bye guys.